Manassa Cemetery. Hello, Free Heart Knob subscribers, and thank you for subscribing. I have a new channel called Forever Explore. This will give you an idea of what it's like. Please subscribe to that, too. See you there. Hello, fellow explorers. Today we're in Manassas, Virginia, and you're going to be seeing the Confederate Cemetery in historic Manassas, and I'm going to walk around and have a little explore and see if we can't find some interesting things. So, come on! This is the Manassas Confederate Cemetery, venerating spirit and glory. Wow, big uh, iron gate. And we can go in, go inside, this is Confederate Cemetery. The Manassas Confederate Cemetery was dedicated in 1889. In 1867, an acre of land was donated as a resting place for Southern soldiers, and a year later, more than 250 fallen soldiers had been laid to rest. The Virginia General Assembly granted an appropriation to the Ladies Memorial Association to fund a red sandstone monument. Right uh, on the side of the Confederate Cemetery is a very intriguing looking memorial surrounded by greenery. So let's uh, let's go in here and see what we can find. Wow, well, look at that. Very ornate gate. Oh. Robert Portner. Wow. Robert Portner was born in Prussia and immigrated to the United States in 1853. He was a brewer and started Portner and Company. Had a grocery store at the same time and he kept that, but he decided to expand the brewery. He patented a system for chilling lager as well as ice making machine. He did have 50 refrigerated train cars to ship his product and then he expanded his success to beer gardens. And over the next 33 years his brewery grew and it grew to two city blocks. In 1869, he was visited by Christian Mathis and decided to buy his estate in Manassas, Virginia. His wife loved it so much it reminded her of Switzerland. And their home in the Bull Run Mountains. And the estate was nearly 2,200 acres. It featured climate control, which combined two of Porter's brewery inventions, making it what is believed to be the first house in the country to have air conditioning. There's one kind of covered over over here. Let's, let's clean it off. This is um, Edwin Portner. Come on, let's go see what else we can find. Here is one of those fantastic tombstones of the woodsmen of the world. And you can see it's made like a tree. And this gentleman passed away in 1903. And there's the carver's 
initials W D I can't really make it out or the date. This is Mary Gullick, born in eighteen twenty four and died in November of nineteen oh one. I'm uh, thinking about looking over here at this, uh, I think that's a cedar tree with an iron gate around it. Wow, there's uh, those tombstones that have grown into the tree. Take a look at this. So you cannot see the death date. Dr. W.P. S.T.O. D.D.A.R.D. Stoddard. This is a very, very old cedar tree. It's a Southern Cross of Honor, a Maltese cross with a wreath of laurel surrounding the words Deo Vindis, God our Defender, and the inscription Southern Cross of Honor on the face. And on the reverse side is the Confederate battle flag surrounded by a laurel wreath. The initials SCA mean Sons of the Confederate Army. I'll put a picture in here of what one looks like, but we can really see the details. This looks very interesting in here to me. Would you like to go see what's in there? Wow, this weathered marble. Joseph T. Harper's Burger, born November eighteen thirty nine died September of 1907. One less at home, the charmed, circle broken, and dear face missed day by day from it's usual place, but cleansed, saved, perfected by grace. One more in heaven. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Okay. Temple 
well-loved by this beautiful carving. Here's a couple of old Elizabeth H. Rhina. Born in 18. 7 and passed in 1906 and look there's one swallowed up by another bush cracked in half and there's a well so I spy another woodsman uh, grave over there let's, uh, let's go look ooh and there's one behind it that looks very interesting Memorial of Wilton G. R. E. E. N. D. E. And it's G. Period R. E. N. D. E. I can't make that out. I don't see the, uh, the marking of the woodsman on it. It's in the shape of a cross. Oh, let's go over there to that one, till it. On my way to that one, I saw this. Very interesting. And another one swallowed up by the bushes. And here is some very impressive old headstones. I've come across the grave of Judge James Bankhead Tyler Thornton, and he was a judge of the 16th Judicial Circuit of Virginia since 1907, and also the Commonwealth's attorney and superintendent of schools for Prince William County. He was also a well-respected lawyer. He passed away at 62 years old, a great loss for the community. You can see this one is right in front of the Confederate cemetery and it's quite elaborate. Uh, they were a mason, John R. Tillett, born November of 1843, died in March of 1920. His wife, Susan. I did come to find out that on the left hand side bottom of the monument is an inscription that says J.R. Tillett, Company H. 15th Virginia Cavalry, as the builder. And also, he was a very well-known bridge builder, and he built a 408-foot-long bridge over the Rappahannock River at Kelly's Ford, Virginia. Well, I hope you surely enjoyed that. I did. I only got just a tiny little piece of explored but I think that's enough for today. Whew, there's so much history in this part of the world in Manassas. Confederate and Union and it's just fascinating don't you think? So remember it's a beautiful day here March the 21st of 2020 and you can get out and walk around and explore. Stay safe my friends and remember I want you to forever explore. See you in the next video.